Hey guys, John from Pirate Llama here. We are here to do our shootout. We have the brand new Black Lion Audio Revolution interface, and we are shooting it out versus the Slate VRS8 8 channel Thunderbolt interface. Should be a really interesting test. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. So, first off, we're going to listen to me playing some uh, crappy drums. Unfortunately, I'm not a drummer, and I probably haven't even uh, sat behind a drum set in a year, because I don't drum. I probably should, since I just have a drum set here, but either way, um, what I did is I split the signal after the preamp. So I went into my Phoenix audio preamp, split the signal out, and ran uh, two channels into the slate, and I ran two channels into the Black Lion. Um, so they're getting the exact same preamp, they're going in line level, and I find that using drums for testing out converters and preamps is one of the better things to test it with because you can really hear what the low end is doing, you can hear out what the high end is doing, you can hear the attack, and when you use overheads and you pan them hard left and right, you can really hear um, the sound field. Uh, how far out left and right does it go? Uh, is there a depth to it? Etc. So I'm going to play those back for you now. So, I thought those were pretty interesting. Um, I'm not going to give you my thoughts yet. Um, you can always go back and listen to it again if you want. I'm also including links so you can download the files down below here if you'd like um, and listen to them at uh, full resolution or on a better system or whatever. I don't know how much you're going to be able to tell on an iPhone or a phone, but it, you know, it would be interesting to know if you can even tell a difference on a phone. Um, so the second part, second test I did was I ran one of my songs, one of my personal songs actually, that I don't get to do a lot of because I run the studio, but uh, I ran my song through a bunch of this analog gear, um, kind of at the mastering stage, and I did one uh, run of it using the slate outputs and inputs after the analog gear and recorded all in and then I did the exact same thing with the black lion out of the black lion outs and back into the inputs of the black lion so you're testing two things at once here you're testing the digital to audio conversion and the audio to digital conversion um, and I will play those for you now Okay, now that you guys listened to those, uh, I wonder I wonder what you guys think. Um, if you can go ahead and type in the comments below and tell me what you think, which one you liked and better. Um, there's three things I listen to typically when I'm testing preamps or converters or interfaces. Um, one of them is I am listening to the clarity. Um, and, and when I talk about clarity, I mean, I guess it's kind of obvious, but there's one specific thing you can listen to is, is 
about the 500 hertz to zero hertz, somewhere in that range. Um, listen to the low end, listen to how clear it is, or how dense it is, or lack thereof, or whatever. The other thing I like to listen to is the, um, the width of it. So on some of these, say the overheads, on one of them I can hear when I'm focusing on, say, the hi-hat, because the hi-hat's kind of over here. When I switch to the other converter, I actually hear the hi-hat go out a little bit more. Um, same thing on this song. Near the end of the song, there's these claps in the chorus. Those are panned really far left and right. In fact, I used a, uh, I used a spatial thing to make them even kind of go more left and right, so they're almost behind you. Uh, not quite. But you can really hear on one of them... One of the converters, they sound out a little bit farther than the other one. Uh, to me, see if you guys can hear that. Um, and those are the two things that I really, really pay attention to. Um, the other thing that I like to listen to is the crack of the snare, uh, the attack, um, and kind of the detail of it all. Um, and that's probably one of the most notice noticeable things I found between these two is there was a little bit more crack in one of them. Um, now, which one is better? I guess that's subjective. I, I definitely, I definitely like one more than the other one, but it's about a ten percent like more. Uh, they both sound really, really good to me. Um, you, you could make great records with either one of these. Although I will say this, the Slate is a $2,000 eight channel unit and the Black Lion is $400 for a two channel portable interface. And for that price, I don't think anything beats it. Um, I have Apogees, I have uh, a couple, couple other pretty good two channel interfaces. Um, I have an Audient and the black line is noticeably better than those um and i don't know of a two channel that is good as the black line maybe um maybe a prism just standalone ad converter might be better but i don't know it might not um but uh so that's the test i will uh let you guys listen to everything download everything and in the comments below in the description down below i will tell you which one I liked better, and uh, why I liked it better. But um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and rock and roll.